What is up guys? You know who I am. I don't know who you are because I do know who you are. Hi, how are you doing? I have not made a video in a very, very long time, and today I thought I'd do one a little destructive. So, what I've got here is my 250 watt high pressure sodium street light, and what I have right here is a cheap 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb. Now, they both have mogul bases on side these uh, inside these lamps, and I was curious to see what I can do to this light. Because, after all, this is 70 watts, and that ballast is rated for 250 watts. So it'll give 250 watts to this lamp until it, the whole thing ruptures. So, well, that'd be kind of cool to do, because I've got plenty of these. So, I guess let's go ahead and try it. I'll first show what the light normally looks like. In this case, this is a Sylvania bulb. You can probably see, sort of see me in the reflection of my messy room as well. That has a Sylvania... Uh, HPS bulb in there. Pop the front cover off. See brass base. As you can see, it is a Sylvania 250. Nothing too special about it. And this one lights just quite normally. Nothing really special about this. So. What would happen if we put a much lower wattage in there? I want actually, I want, I'm actually kind of curious to see if this will actually cause the ceramic um, arc tube in there to actually rupture. Um, a bit destructive, but uh, like I said, I don't, I don't really need more of these because it doesn't really matter because these are pretty easy to come by. And also, it's it's a bit of a no-name brand. Never heard of Plus Right. So, Plus Right is like the uh, OEM kind of replacement since, you know. High pressure sodium bulbs aren't as common anymore in uh, places. And this might actually show up kind of weird on the camera because this is oscillating. Well, this is cycling at 60, uh, 60 cycles because it is an HP and uh, arc lamp. And if you can't actually end up seeing this, I will use a welding mask to see what you will get out of the arc tube. It probably won't focus nearly as well, but it gets you good. It gets you a good, good idea. All right. Well, before this bulb gets too hot, I'm going to unplug this. All right. Now it's off. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. It got just mildly warm from having it on for those few seconds. I'm also not really too concerned about this bulb exploding because it's got to go through two panes of glass the, not only the thick outer envelope of this glass but also that that glass right there so if it decides to go haywire I'm not really too concerned because it's got a lot to stop it and also if for some reason the ballast gets damaged I've got so many more of these high pressure sodium ballasts so it's not a big deal it wouldn't be a very big loss all right let's go ahead and see how this one starts up Ooh, the ballast already sounds pissed off. It's also humming a lot louder. There's another uh, HPS that actually is up there that I'm using for my normal lights. Ooh, that's a very, very fast warm-up. <laughs> Interesting. This could take a while. It is getting extremely bright already. Also, I wish I had a tripod so I can just set this down like that. And my, my jiggly fingers. God damn, that's insanely bright already. It's actually like painful to look at. That brightness right now is essentially what it would be full brightness with this lamp. Oops, getting even brighter now. Oh gosh, that's like a pure white light now. How the hell can that thing take that much? I should get a closer with the arc. Let's try using the welding masks or welding goggles. Oh gosh, this is 
is like painfully bright. Look at that, just just flusters the camera like immediately. Now this is this is very interesting because it's like when the high pressure sodium gets hot enough, like extremely hot, it's like it's you can't there's like not there's not even a hint of yellow. It's just, it's like a pure white light right now. Like almost this this color right now, which I can barely even show, this color right now is actually comparable to my metal halide up there that I have on. It's actually this is like a pure white light, like a um almost like a ceramic metal halide. If you don't know what a ceramic metal halide is, it's just pretty much just a metal halide tube that uses that arc tube. Essentially the same exact material that high pressure sodium tubes use. Just so this has got uh halide salts and not sodium. And that ballast is really, really pissed off right now. I really don't know how to to show how bright this thing is without turning off every other light I have on in the room. Give me a second. God, that's ridiculous. Every single light in my room is off right now, except for this one and that indicator bulb. But that's not going to be doing anything much different. And look at this. This is like, seriously, it's like a pure white light. I've never seen a light that's got that perfect of a color rendering. There seriously is like no hint of yellow at all. It's like a daylight almost. Perfect white. And there's quite a bit of heat going on that too, actually, too. Um, I also, I wonder how long it'll take for it to restrike. Shall we do that and figure it out? I think we shall. Let's see how hot this bulb is, too, the tube. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> the tube itself, just the glowing incandescence of the tube puts out a, quite a bit of light. <laughs> that's, that's impressive. That's very, very impressive. Gosh, the whole entire tube is hot from the very, very tip to the steel all the way down to the, the bottom of it. I think we're kind of approaching just about this, the hottest point that this thing can actually deal with. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. Oh, gosh! I was not... I was not expecting it to come back on immediately. That is really, really freaking bright. Oh, I'm like, I got like, I have like welder's blindness right now because I didn't expect that light to come on so fast. Gosh, that's ridiculous. How close I need to get this thing. That totally swamps the camera. Get those stupid spectral lines through all the, the refresh rate lines. That is insane. Does it actually turn on like immediately as soon as you turn it off? Let's try that out. Nope, does not. So it does have that much going for it. The, actually, that high, that whining you hear is actually the sound of the uh, high voltage igniter that you hear running in there. My apologies for my shaky camera work. I am a little jittery today. Let's see the... Oh, gosh. What was that? That was like around like 30 seconds, 20 seconds that it took for it to come back on. That's impressive. Try doing that with this tube. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. It'll come on pretty fast. It'll come around maybe like 50 seconds, but almost instantaneous to this damn thing. Now, obviously, the, th the only caveat to this is that the uh, the bulb life is severely, severely diminished. But, interesting to see, that none the least. Alright guys, well I don't want to bore the hell out of you watching this thing. <laughs> interesting. When I actually turn on this dimmer over here, to turn on my other lights, my LED lights, 
it's actually it must must have a little bit of noise that this that this dimmer puts out because you actually can hear it in the ballast if you listen very carefully. You hear that 60 hertz hum. Now it's got a bit of like an overtone to it. And it changes the amount of, the, the amount I dim it, you actually can change the, the pitch of it too. Interesting. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Sorry if I bored the hell out of you. Comment, rate, subscribe. You guys really don't need to do any of that stuff, but it helped me out a lot, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be very, very soon. And I would also like to state before I go that I will start. I will be starting to make videos about uh, light bulbs more in general, too. Um, I'm not going to stop doing my other videos about like uh, teardowns and stuff like that, reviews, but I'm going to start uh, doing really quick videos probably around every, every day, at hopefully. That's just uh, kind of just showing like a, a very unique, uh, like a, a different light bulb every single day, and then just discussing how much light it puts out, what it looks like, that kind of stuff, price maybe even, and uh, yeah, that'll that'll just kind of be tied in as like filler videos for all my other stuff because I'm, um, like I said, I haven't been posting in quite a while. That light is like perfect. I don't even need to have any other light on, except for that light. That's impressive. <laughs> all right, guys, take care.